We're here at Soldier Hollow for the annual sheepdog competition, and uh, it's called the Soldier Hollow Classic. Some of the best dog handlers from around the world come here to compete. This is the 14th year for the competition. There's three days of uh, trials, and each day they're gonna take the top five for the final competition, which is on Monday. Come on down and see the amazing dogs. My dog's name is Treat, and we're here at Soldier Hollow for the first time, running for the first time this year. And we had a bit of a tough day yesterday, but we had a much better day today. And we got finished with the course and got the sheep around and put them in the pen, and we're pretty happy with ourselves. I live on a ranch in Colorado, and I had a border collie that I used to move cattle and a small flock of sheep. And my cousins put on the Meeker Classic, and so through helping and volunteering there, I uh, came to sheepdog trialing. And once you get bit by the sheepdog trialing bug, it's pretty hard to it's pretty hard to give it up. So the dogs respond to whistles. Initially, you start with voice commands, and then you transfer it over to whistles. Uh, you might choose a whistle for your dog that would speed it up on a side that it's inclined to be slow on. Um, there's a fairly standard set of whistles and people just sort of change them a little bit depending on how their dog runs and reacts and how good they are at whistling. It, <laughs> it took me a long time to learn how to even blow the whistle. You can give this little whistle to a kid and in about 10 seconds they can blow it. It took me two years to figure out how to blow it. And so basically I just picked whistles that worked for me that I could do. been to this competition seven or eight times in the last ten years and I come out from Mount Airy, Maryland and I come because of the competition. The sheep are challenging, the course is challenging and um, it gives my dogs a chance to work at a different place and on different sheep and we haven't had a lot of luck but I've been happy with my dogs. When I teach my dogs their whistles, I start first with verbal commands, and I basically have used the same whistles for 20 odd years that I've been doing this, and because they're the ones that are easiest for me to blow and to make definite so the dogs really understand them. I probably started competing dogs back in 1998. I've been doing it a while. The dogs have natural instincts to, to gather sheep and bring the sheep to you. So they pick up the whistle commands right away. And um, you just I just teach my dogs the same whistles all the time. For me, <laughs> I've had a little tough luck, but I've been really thrilled with how my dogs have done. He has a ton of heart, and I think you just create a partnership with the dogs and the ones that suit you real well, and those are the ones you run. Well, the competition here is doing okay. I've got both both dogs into the double lift tomorrow. I won yesterday with a little girl named Alice, and her dad is winning it today, and he should stay in the top five to make it, I think, anyway. It's late enough in the day. Hopefully he stays on top. Better yet tomorrow. A good teamwork. Trust your dog. Yeah.